Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here. And today I want to talk to you guys about the newly released Terminator Genesis, the fifth film in the Terminator saga. And I'm a little trepidatious about going too deep into the plot of the film without giving too much away. And because the plotting of Terminator Genesis is a bit muddy. Uh, we've got timelines going on on top of timelines that just are a little murky to say the least. I'm not sure if the writers even had a firm grasp on the timelines going on in the film. Um, but Terminator Genesis starts with John Connor. He has rallied the troops. He's about to lead uh, the attack on Skynet to finally put an end to the machine's rule over mankind once and for all. The mission is accomplished, only he discovers that they have sent a Terminator back through time to kill his mother, Sarah Connor. He sends his right-hand man, Kyle Reese, back through time to protect her. Uh, only the uh, the uh, Sarah Connor that Kyle Reese meets is not the Sarah Connor from the original Terminator because somebody, not sure who, um, I don't think the movie ever explains it, actually sent <laughs> Terminator back through time uh, before then uh, to protect Sarah Connor at the age of nine from a Terminator attack. Uh, and then he sort of becomes her surrogate father, teaching her how to be a badass, to protect herself, etc., etc. And that is the Sarah Connor that we find in Los Angeles, 1984, at the beginning of Terminator Genesis. And the beginning of the film was pretty cool because there were a lot of sequences that were actually lifted directly from the original Terminator, almost shot for shot. I actually watched the original Terminator uh, last night before I went and saw film. So those sequences I thought were, were, were pretty good. They were pretty well done. They harkened back to the original Terminator and I had fun with them. <clears throat> um, there's a lot of problems with Terminator Genesis. I have a lot of problems with Terminator Genesis. Now having said that I'm going to go ahead and say too that I also had fun watching Terminator Genesis. Terminator Genesis um, on one level is just a fun mindless summer popcorn action flick albeit not not too memorable i don't think it's not the kind of action sequences like you know the the police station shootout from the original terminator or the tanker trunk chase take tanker truck chase from terminator 2 uh lots of action sequences lots of eye candy going on there but nothing nothing as memorable as those sequences from terminator and terminator 2. um as far as my qualms with the film are concerned um have problems with the acting the characters were kind of bland the timelines like i said all over the place very very murky um what they do with john connor in the film what they do with john connor in the film is they almost erase john connor from the series really which <laughs> to me never it doesn't sit right with me when john connor has been sort of the focal point the savior of mankind throughout four terminator films terminator genesis more or less kind of erases him and i won't go to in, into too many details about what goes on with him in the film if you saw the trailer and boy those were some bad trailers for terminator genesis those were some awful trailers for terminator genesis you probably know it's 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 probably been spoiled for you. Pretty much everything in the film was spoiled in those trailers. Those were some bad trailers. <laughs> those trailers did not sell me on, on the film in any way, shape, or form. The trailers looked awful. Arnold as an old gray-haired Terminator, I just, I didn't know if that was going to work. It didn't seem like it would work to me. Having seen Terminator Genesis, I can safely say the best part of Terminator Genesis is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger steals the show. Arnold Schwarzenegger as a machine, an emotionless, cold machine, has more character, more charisma, <laughs> more humor, more emotion in the film than pretty much all the human <laughs> characters. Um, there's some great humor that goes that that, that re revolves around uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator in the film, and it works. It's funny. It's humorous. It's actually it's actually humor that is 
humorous. Uh, I laughed several times watching the film because of Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator. And they, they explain why he's older now, why he's got gray hair. I thought that was a pretty plausible explanation. I bought it. I was fine with it. It was cool. Watching old Arnold fights, <laughs> old Arnold as the Terminator fight, young Arnold as the Terminator, or a CGI face of young Arnold as the Terminator, um, was pretty fun. Uh, I have to say, I got a kick out of that. That was pretty enjoyable to watch. Um, I did watch, as I said, I watched the original Terminator just last night. And I love that film. I love Terminator 2. Both of them, to me, are absolute masterpieces, hands down, no doubt about it. The original Terminator, James Cameron did so much with so little. You guys know I'm a huge proponent of practical effects in films. I also understand it's 2015. <laughs> practical makeup effects, practical special effects. That's a bygone era. Everything today is computer generated. It's more cost effective. It's easier to do. It takes less time, etc., etc. There was a lot of CGI in Terminator Genesis, um, but it, I think it was good CGI. Uh, there was probably a lot more CGI going on in the film that, that I could sort of identify. So that's when you can't tell what's CGI from real, that's good CGI. Um, but there's some CGI in the film that is obviously CGI. I didn't mind it. There were no entire sequences in the film that were just totally comprised of CGI, which I hate those. Those, to me, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's like watching somebody play a video game. I get no enjoyment out of watching somebody play a video game. But that's kind of what it feels like when you watch a film today and, the, and you just have sequences that are just totally computer-generated. Um, <clears throat> I, again, lots of action in the film. I think my uh, another big qualm with the movie is I don't know, in a month from now, I don't know how much of the movie I'm going to remember aside from Arnold Schwarzenegger stealing the show. Aside from Arnold Schwarzenegger being, you know, <laughs> uh, really the, the heart and soul of Terminator Genesis. Stealing the show. Um, lots of action, like I said before, but none of it, you know, none of it sort of thrilling, you know, really well shot, really well orchestrated, really well done kind of action sequences. Lots of stuff blows up. <laughs> There's, you know, three billion rounds of gunfire going off. Um, but none of it overly memorable. There was a nice sequence with a school bus dangling off the Golden Gate Bridge, which is, I think is kind of, I think, the... Um, uh, the centerpiece of the action sequences in Terminator Genesis. It was pretty well done. Um, but yeah, overall, like I said, I've got a lot of gripes with the movie. Um, what they do with John Connor still doesn't really sit right with me. You've seen him as the savior, the end-all, be-all. All this is for John Connor. All this is so John Connor will be born, will grow up, <laughs> will survive the nuclear holocaust, and ultimately lead mankind... Uh, to destroy the machines. And I think this movie, with sort of one fell swoop, sort of erases all that. And that, that to me, just, that doesn't sit right. That, to me, doesn't sit right. Like I said, I had problems with the acting. I had problems with the characters. I thought they were kind of bland. Um, but Arnold Schwarzenegger, for me, is reason alone to go watch Terminator Genesis. Great performance, great humor around his character. Uh, some good action in the movie. Again, none of it overly um, uh, memorable. Um, a fun popcorn summer action movie. Is it anywhere on the level of the uh, of Terminator or Terminator 2? God no. God no. If you walk into Terminator Genesis expecting a film on that level, you're going to be devastated. You're not going to have fun with this movie at all. If you expect just kind of a fun popcorn movie that harkens back to the original Terminator, kind of has some fun with it, uh, is an enjoyable, fun popcorn action movie, you're going to like Terminator Genesis. For me personally, some things don't sit right with me. Overall, I enjoyed it. I had fun watching it. I laughed a few times. Loved Arnold <laughs> returning as the Terminator. Uh, old, she says, but not obsolete. That, that was a really bad Arnold. I'm sorry. That was a really bad Arnold. He's older, but he's not obsolete, he says. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think of Terminator Genesis. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you despise it? Let me know in the comments section below. I'll give it a mild sort of recommendation. As long as you have the, 
the, the, the right sort of, as long as you walk into the movie with the right expectations, um, a mild recommendation. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace.